Hey, today we're going to do a versus in between two uh, price matched guitars, both uh, four ninety nine each. One is a standard pro, the other one is a traditional pro. The traditional pro is the gold top, the standard pro is the honey burst. Uh, the, the differences in them is uh, the weight, the neck, and the uh, neck pickups. Uh, both bridge pickup are the same, one's covered, one's not. Uh, both of them have cold tapping. Uh, we won't be going through the cold tapping today. The biggest reason is because this one has been modified with uh, different pots. They do not have the, the push-pull pot feature, so it does not cold tap. Uh, I will do a video uh, here real soon of the traditional versus a prophecy. Prophecy does have cold tap, so we'll do the cold tap versus within two guitars. Um, the weight of the guitars. The standard uh, Pro is heavier by a lot, uh, to be honest with you. I mean, it's noticeable if you're standing on stage for 20 minutes, you know which guitar you have in your hands by the end, end of the set or, or whatever you're playing. Uh, it's that much heavier. Um, you can tell it in your back and your neck. Uh, it's got a good tone. But it is quite a bit heavier than the traditional. Traditional's not not near as heavy. Uh, I like the heavier guitars. Um, tend to have a little bit more beef behind them for some reason, as far as their tone's concerned. So, uh, for me, that's a plus on the standard. Uh, the necks, uh, the traditional pro, the neck is quite a bit bigger, uh, bigger round. The neck profile, I think it's like a D shape. It's a deep D. <laughs> so. Uh, and the standard, the, the neck is thinner, uh, which I like them both for different reasons. They both play well. They're both fast. They're both, both of them are, are play equally as good. It's just the necks feel a little different on them. If you like a chunkier neck, the traditional would be the one you would want. Uh, it's lighter, has a chunkier neck. The standard is heavier with a little bit thinner neck. So, uh... With that being said, uh, the last tidbit of information and we'll get to play it is the finishes on the back of these guitars. Both of them have gloss front uh, finishes. But on the back of them, the standard is gloss. Um, the neck, back of the neck is gloss, the back of the guitar is gloss. On the traditional Pro, it's not. It's more of a stained. It's not matte. It's not gloss. It's something different. I'm not just real sure what 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 the correct term for that is but I'll go ahead and pick this one up and kind of show you the headstock which is that right there you can kind of see it's it's this is the traditional pro um, but you kind of look at the back I don't know how well the camera's picking it up but it's not a it's not a matte, it's not a gloss. You can see the wood grain. To me, it looks more of a stain than anything else, which feels good on the neck. It's not sticky. Uh, sometimes you can get gloss finishes and they get sticky, especially if your hand goes to sweating it off. If you're playing and it's hot out or something, the, uh, the neck gets uh, sticky, which makes it harder to play. This one, I've had no problems with that because it's not... It's just, it's different, which I like it. It's not a bad different, it's just different. Um, we're gonna go through some clean tones. Okay, this is a bridge pickup. This is a clean tone.
traditional probe. This is the standard probe. Standard plus top. I'm not able to find anything on standard. Everything comes to standard plus top. But the headstock right there says standard pro. And then here's the finish. It's all gloss. A good looking, good feeling guitar. This the neck on this one is thinner and it does get sticky. You know, you get the plant in your hands, get the sweating, or get a little bit of moisture on them. Let's say you pick up a cold drink or something, uh, and then pick up the guitar, your hand is sticky on the back of the neck because it's it's that gloss. It just wants to wants to, and it can hinder your plan. Uh, clean bridge. <laughs> To it. This one actually has a beefy tone. Uh, I don't know if it's the weight of the guitar or what, but when you're running gain, uh, especially through my JSX, this one has a beefier tone. Um, it's not that that one's bad, it, it, it's a little bit on the thinner side. Uh, I don't know, like I said, I don't know if it contributes to weight or not. I don't know if the camera even picked that up today. This one has a thicker uh, tone to it. So let's add some gain. Now I'm using Pod Farm just because it's so much easier. So, okay, we're on a uh, gainy sound. Both sustain about the same. You can let a chord and just keep on rocking. So that's you know that's a good thing. Sustain. 
both guitars have fresh strings, uh, about the same amount of playtime on each set of strings, uh, roughly two and a half hours or so. Kick that off. Anyway, that is the review of Versus, of these two guitars. Both of them are good, they're just different. Same price, it's just depending on what you want. Uh, thank you very much.